children good morning to everyone today we are going to discuss changes around us lesson in seventh class in the substances are formed are called dash changes chemical changes because of any new substances formed with the help of change is called chemical change so you write here chemical chemical change magnesium plus oxygen is gives rise to magnesium oxide magnesium oxide milk converted to curd is dash change it is not reversible change that why it is called as also chemical change milk converted to curd is chemical change rusting of iron is protected by dash process it is called as galvanization the process of protecting iron rusting is called as galvanization galvanization process choose the correct answer when a woolen yarn is knitted to get a sweater the change can be described as a physical change b chemical change c endothermic reaction d exothermic reaction it is called as physical change okay so we write a here the chemical change among the following is a water to clouds b growth of a tree c cow dung to biogas d ice to water in this cow dung to biogas it's not reversible that's why you called it is a chemical change so you write here c which is an example of a periodic change a earthquake b formation of rainbow c occurrence of tides in a sea D. All of the above. The periodic change is occurrence of tides in a C. So you wrote here C. Photosynthesis by green plant is Photosynthesis by green plant is a physical change, chemical change, reversible change, D. None of the above. The answer is photosynthesis is the not reversible change that why it is called as chemical change so you write here d matching growing a breaking mirror galvanization vinegar and atmospheric pollution chemical change acetic acid slow change physical change depositing zinc on iron metal fast change growing hay is a slow change breaking mirror fast change galvanization depositing zinc on iron metal vinegar Vinegar is a acetic acid. Two, atmospheric pollution. Physical change or chemical change? Atmospheric pollution is called as chemical change. So, one. Now, answer the following questions. First question: Distinguish physical and chemical changes. Physical changes during physical change. no new substances are formed it is 
temporary change and reversible in nature. Chemical composition of the substance does not change. No absorption or evolution of energy. It is called as physical changes. Example, cutting of wood, heating of, melting of wax, etc. Chemical changes. During chemical change, new substances are formed. It is a permanent change and reversible in nature. Chemical composition of the substance changes. Heat, light may be released or absorbed. Example, burning of newspaper, change of milk to curd, burning of crackers, etc. Second question. When a candle is burnt, what type of changes takes place? Give another example of the similar process. When a candle is burnt, both physical and chemical changes take place. The wax melted during burning condenses again to solid wax is a physical change. It undergoes chemical change when the wax near flame burns and gives new substance like carbon dioxide, water vapor, carbon soot while giving heat and light. Another example, LPG gas burning is another example. In this process also both physical and chemical changes takes place. LPG present in the cylinder is in liquid form. When it comes out of the cylinder, it converts into gaseous state which is a physical change. When gas burns in air, it undergoes chemical change. Third question, define crystallization. The process of separating a soluble solid from the solution by heating or evaporation is called crystallization. Fourth question. Guess the consequences of burning crackers during festivals and celebrations. The air and noise pollutions that are caused by burning crackers can affect the people with disorders related to heart, respiratory and nervous systems. Burning crackers during festivals increases the concentration of dust and pollution in the air. The def defined dust particles contain chemicals like copper, zinc, lead, cadmium and pollutants like sulfur and nitrogen oxide. These invisible particles affect the environment and put our health at stake. Prove experimentally chemical change is a permanent change. Aim to prove a chemical change is a permanent change. Materials required a beaker, copper sulfate, test tube, iron nails, water, dilute sulfuric acid. Procedure Dissolve about a teaspoonful of copper sulfate in about half a cup of water in beaker. Add a few drops of dilute sulfuric acid to the solution. We get a blue colored solution. Keep a small sample of the solution in a test tube. Drop a nail into the remaining solution. Observe the color of solution. Compare it with color of the sample solution kept aside in the test tube. Take out the nail. The changes that we observe are due to the reaction between copper sulfate and iron. The changes of color of the solution 
from blue to green is due to the formation of iron sulfate. This is a new substance. The brown deposit that we observe on the iron nail is copper. This is another new substance. Copper sulfate solution plus iron is gives rise to iron sulfate solution plus copper. The formed substances are different from original substances. So, it is a chemical change. So, can, we cannot get the original substances by reversing the experimental conditions. Thus, it is a permanent change. Guess the reason for increase of plastic pollution. Answer. As the world's population continues to grow, so does the amount of garbage that people produce. In addition, people are addicted to easily disposable products such as plastic water bottles, drink bottles, food containers, wrappers, plastic bags, cups, plates, straws, spoons, grocery bags, etc. Most of the plastics are non-biodegradable. They take hundreds of years to decompose. Thus, the accumulation of these products has led to increase in the amounts of plastic pollution around the world. How can you appreciate the role of periodic changes in nature? Some of the periodic changes in nature, heart beat. Heart beats to circulate oxygen and nutrient rich blood to all the parts of the body. Rotation of the earth. Earth Rotation causes the sunrise and the sunset. Revelation of the earth. This results in the changing of the seasons. Change of seasons. The change of seasons allow different types of work, food celebration and recreation. And also seasons have an enormous influence on on vegetation and plant growth. Thus, periodic changes play a vital role in nature. So, I appreciate the role of periodic changes in nature. Suggest some methods to prevent rusting of iron articles. For rusting, the presence of both oxygen and water is essential. So we have to prevent iron articles from coming in contact with oxygen and water or both. One way is to apply a coat of paint or grease. In fact, these coats should be applied regularly to prevent rusting. Another way is to deposit a layer of a metal like chromium or zinc or iron. The process of depositing a layer of zinc on iron is called galvanization. Example, the iron pipes we use in our homes to carry water are galvanized to prevent rusting. Ravi prepared carbon dioxide using baking soda and vinegar. Carbon dioxide changed lime water into milky white. Represent this experiment in a diagram with labeling.